Hello? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I can be, yeah, I can be there. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, of course I am. Today is the 18th of July, 2018. There's my mother. Woohoo! Woohoo! Big summer blood! Uh, okay, anyway, enough of that. We are on our way to the Institute for Cancer Research and I'm laughing because I've just done about 30 takes saying the International Space Station. Oops. Whoops. And we were laughing a lot. Anyway, we're off on our way to there to go and find out just what is going to happen with this trial and sign paperwork and make sure that everything's in order and that I'm fit enough to do it. Unfortunately, yesterday we found some more tumours in my left side, which are in between my ribs, um, which are slowly pushing on my ribs. So the pain level at the moment is very high. Okay, so we've seen the first... We've seen the first uh, set of doctors. I've had my blood taken. Mum's had a coffee and Danish, haven't I you? I have, I have, it was lovely. Okay, so we've, we've seen them. I have signed my consent form uh, and I'm about to have some uh, radiology stuff done. So I'm having a, um, possibly a needle biopsy. I'm having an ultrasound and a CT because the cancer has grown uh, into other places. So we need to find out exactly where it is before we start the trial, which will be starting now on Monday. So I'm allowed to discuss stuff to do with the trial, but I'm not allowed to discuss results of the trial until I get consent. Uh, and I had a very long form <laughs> to do with data protection and um, confidentiality. So I have to follow those rules. Don't I, Mum? You do. And all our Daniel And Daniel's. also, I have to make sure that I follow the rules of the press office. Uh, yeah, because I'll get into a lot of trouble if I don't. And what were you gonna say, Mum? I'd just like to say, Dan, get on your bike. Yeah, get on your bike, because the thing's called bicycle. Yeah, thanks, Mum. That would have been funny if it was timed well, you know. My mum is trying to explain what bicycle does, and hopefully it's going to push me forward in the right direction. Really? <laughs> really? Ah, see what she did there. The trial starts on Monday now. Instead of 15 days wait, I can start on Monday, and they've literally rushed me through all the tests again today. Um, blood tests, scans, ultrasound, CT and everything and yeah it potentially could be quite promising we don't know the actual results yet because they've not got the results off the people with lower dose but I'm having higher dosage um, and the idea is it attacks the protein and penetrates the cancer um, quicker based on research we've done um, and based on research that they've done it kind of it kind of works in a fantastic little way so hopefully it could be quite promising so we, we just have to wait and see watch this space and see what happens um, but yeah it's, it's quite exciting it's been quite an interesting day it's been quite um, a daunting day very tiring I'm very tired it's like half two in the afternoon now and I've been here since 10 so it's been a been a long day so far and I've still got hours left um, but at least I can start straight away so that's a good thing um, and I'm quite excited and I've got the hiccups because I'm not allowed to eat um, but yeah I'm looking forward to it and yeah the new tumors that have grown um, were very visible so that, that's that's a bit of a pain in the ass but we'll see what happens but due to privacy laws data protection and stuff we've had to get permission off the hospital um, and their press office to be able to talk about it and to actually film within the hospital so we're just waiting for full confirmation of that and then I should be able to film everything that's going on and show what an actual drug trial is all about and what it's to do with so yeah it's exciting it's very exciting and hopefully we can make this uh, quite interesting for people and be more reality for me and help people understand what life is actually like for me. I travel all over the country to lots of different places. Um, 
getting lots of different types of treatment to try and stay alive, but I'm alive, so I can't knock it. it it's working and you should always be your own advocate. Search for everything that you can and try and do your best to survive. Thank you.